So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at the data HTML element. And this is another one of those weird HTML elements that doesn't really appear to do much, uh, but it does allow you to add some semantic meaning uh, to the uh, HTML markup that you're actually writing. So the data element itself uh, can be used to wrap a, a piece of text or any other element that you've got on your page and assign a value to it. So uh, I'll just give you an example here. We've got uh, our list items inside of our unordered list here. And if I just wrap this uh, first item, the React text in this data HTML element, we can then provide a value as an attribute to the data element. And we can give it a value of say 100. And now the text of React that's inside of our list element has a machine readable value of 100. So uh, again, robots and other crawlers on your site will be able to see this data HTML element and associate the value of 100 with the text of React. So probably what we do in reality is to do that for all of the elements in the page. So let's say each of these elements here have got uh, a data tag surrounding them. And obviously we can change the values in here as well. 50, 20, 90. And as you look at the unordered list in our rendered page, you can see there's no discernible uh, difference uh, by adding those data values, but uh, a machine, uh, a crawler, a bot will be able to go through the page and actually associate those values with the items in the list. Uh, you can, of course, use some CSS or some other means to actually uh, grab those values and do something with it. Uh, so if we were to, for example, go into our CSS here and target all of the data elements, and when they're hovered over, uh, don't forget they'll be inside of the list elements themselves, we can set a uh, bit of content uh, on the after pseudo element. So we could say maybe the value and then grab its uh, value from uh, the data element itself. And if we save that and then go back over to the page, now when we actually hover over each of the uh, list items, you can see their value is actually displayed as well. So you can make use of it within your code if you need to. If we were to do the same thing in JavaScript, if we just open up our developer tools, uh, we could, for example, uh, query all of the list items and then get their direct uh, data elements as well. And then for each of those, we've got the actual uh, data elements themselves, and we should see their values inside there as well. Scroll down to the bottom here. There you can see the value for the uh, first data element in our node list. So that's just a bit of information about the data HTML element. It's not supported in Internet Explorer, but any other modern browser should be okay. You might want to consider using this when you've got a list of items and you want to associate a particular value uh, and provide that information to robots that are crawling your page. So that's it for the data HTML element. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.